Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode, another motivational episode. Monday, as it may be, <laughs> as you're watching this. Anyways, you already know, off to a rocky start as usual. Um, hope you, but hey, it's still a start, you know what I mean? So that's uh, the most important thing here, right? So, you know, today we're gonna be talking about simply um, what it says in the title. I mean, you know, that plus more. <laughs> but uh, but hustle. Hustle is like the main thing here. There's one thing you can control, and that's your hustle. Remember, you can control you. You can control everything about you. It is all about you. You got to get, you know, start getting, uh, um, stop complaining and start getting used to, you know, taking care of yourself and, uh, you know, being accountable and all that good stuff. But, you know, with all that being said, let me, uh, let me give you a quick little Gary V video here because uh, I think this will help with the hustle because I know there's a lot of people out there all ages that watch my videos and sometimes I feel like there's a little bit of a disconnect because when I play these Gary V videos um, a lot of them it's, it seems like there's he's speaking to the young younger crowd out there but it's not that and uh, I know he's a lot more business oriented than anything else you know business oriented and he just happens to do motivation but you know it, it, you can take his advice and a lot of the things that he has to say um, you know for more than just uh um you know business per se you know you can use it for life literally you can use a lot of the a lot of the advice and a lot of the things that he has to say you know on advice on just life in general so uh, with you know again you just gotta you know tweak it a little bit you know as you're listening to it um so that it falls in line with uh whatever situation you might need help with so with that being said, let me uh, play this video real quick because I think it'll be uh, something that, you know, uh, help me move on to the next point and we can go from there. The Monday rant video was reverse engineered. Like it just, I just knew that people would like want to watch it. And like, and that's what I also think is gonna happen here. Basically I want this film to give you the audacity to actually go out and do it. You're, you're 52 years old and it's not being talked about enough that, hey man, hey gal, like, it's not over. If you want it so bad, if it's in you, like, you know, maybe it's not time to take up golf or, you know, pack it in. Maybe it's time to actually triple down and really focus on your 7 p.m. to 2 in the morning. There's so many people that truly are good entrepreneurs or have entrepreneurial DNA, but they just weren't lucky enough to be born during an era that that seemed practical. Like, it's just so, like, it's hard for somebody who's for 30 years gone a certain blueprint to understand that this is that realistic and they feel like it's a young man's sport and it's just not. Like, it's just not. It's, you know, if you've got the right DNA and you're a 72 year old female, you have just as good of a bat as a 27 year old dude. But you've been trained and story told to and positioned and lived in a 50 year matter that doesn't feel like this thing in here is a practical way to build that, but it is. It, entrepreneurship is not predicated on taking away from your family. Entrepreneurship is from taking away from everything else. So stop making excuses. Oh, these millennial kids are so entitled. Oh, these kids didn't have to work as hard as we did. Nobody cares if you're 40, 70, 90, alien, female, male, minority. The market will accept your victories if you're good enough to have a victory. And I believe more than ever that if you're a 49-year-old housewife with two kids, because of this phone, you've got more opportunities to create something for yourselves. Please, my friends, do not allow just the 18 and 14 and 22-year-olds to grab at this pie that is so available to all of us, regardless of our age. We're gonna live longer, the opportunity is real. For the 58-year-old right now that's watching this, you're gonna live another 40 years. 40 years of being able to do something you love is a big deal. Start putting in the work. Start recognizing this isn't just a young person's game. Start representing, <laughs> start representing the people that actually put in the work, the gray hairs, that, that context, that knowledge. Start deploying that. Educate yourself on the new world. Yes, you didn't grow up with Instagram. You didn't grow up driving and you learned that. Stop making excuses, start getting educated in the actual world and start opening up the opportunities. In my true opinion, you are actually more likely to be successful in building a company at 45, 50 today than the 18 year olds that are coming out because there's a naivete, a lack of experience. You have experience. 
Right. You have experience. Like that's a real thing. Like cool. Like youth and excitement is great. You have actual business experience. There's a plenty amount of talent. There's plenty amount of talent. And there's a ton of fire and bravado. And there's a confidence. There's a confidence that youth provides. The difference between me and so many of you is I've put in the goddamn work to learn where people's attention now is and I'm deploying myself through there. Many of you have drawn a line in the sand and say I'm not downloading Snapchat, I'm not downloading Instagram. And that, my friends, is gonna allow you to lose. This video is made for one reason. I want it to be the calling card, the seed of the explosion of the 40 to 80 year old entrepreneur in our society. The fire I see in the eyes of a 19, 20, 25 year old that feels that they're entitled to this and then on the flip side, the diminishing just a little bit of ashes with a little smoke left of that same entrepreneur when they were 22 at 46 when practicality and family dynamics and the history and the market tearing down and the lack of that same opportunity has just dwindled I think down so. to a moment where they don't believe that they've got that shot and I'm here to tell you, you absolutely do. I mean, there are absolutely a ton of entrepreneurs that started their companies in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s when it was difficult to do such a thing. Sidney Frank, who created Grey Goose, didn't invent his big thing until he was in the 70s. And so, I, I'm desperate, I'm desperate to, to, to give you the springboard to say, you know what? Instead of watching House of Cards seasons, uh, and, instead of trying to you know go to ball games or things of that nature, I, yeah, I do have 7 p.m. till 2 in the morning Monday through Friday. Heck, for a lot of you, the kids are out of the house. I mean, let's get into practicality for the for, for, you know, late 40s, 50s, 60-year-olds uh, that are watching this right now. The kids are out of the house. Like, yeah, you could pick up golf or you could finally start that candle company because you put pretty pictures of candles on Instagram and it happens. Learn the craft. Figure out the opportunity at hand, go attack it. You only live once when you're 90 to 100 years old and you're regretting that you never built this business and you let this era pass, this moment where there's so much entrepreneurial upside, you'll regret it and regret is the worst. I mean, that's what it is. At least the way I see it, like, I got home at midnight last night. And every fucking night, like it's just real. like. I don't have to. So, I don't know, I think there's a real, there's a real opportunity to, to inspire a generation that so deserves it. Like, I almost feel like that's, being 40, I feel like I'm caught right in the middle. Like, I have so much empathy for, I recognize how insane I had to be to, to like, I, I mean, you can't even imagine how not practical being an entrepreneur was when I was your guys, like when I was half your age. Like in school, like like a 15 year old now in school that's getting D's, but is like selling shit on the internet, everyone's like, oh, there's our next, you're the next Mark Zuckerberg. And mine was like, yo, you're the next piece of shit. <laughs> you know, like, you know, like it's so insanely different. And so I have a lot of empathy for people that, I don't, I, I don't know if they recognize how real it is. All right, so. I hope uh, what he said there made a little bit more sense um, now, you know what I mean? Then you have everything in kind of like in context, in full context. So um, look guys, at the end of the day, there's no excuses. It doesn't matter what age you are, and especially nowadays, you know what I mean? In this uh, day and age, in the age of uh, you know all this technology, the fact that we can all live longer and I can go on and on. Literally, I'm literally 40 years old, guys. You know what I mean? And it's like, I'm out here. I remember when I was a kid, uh, 40 years old, that was already dead, old man. You know, are you kidding me? Um, it's over. And now it's like 40 years old, I feel like I'm, you know, new again. Not quite. I know, you know, a few things are creaking and cracking out there. Er, er, er. But other than that, my goodness, are you kidding me? No way, no way in a million years did I ever think uh, I would be not only doing what I'm doing right now at this age, but, um, you know, again, even uh, <clears throat> be <clears throat> being this healthy, having so much to look forward to, and uh, I could go on and on. So let me see, I think we'll just turn over there. Right, eh, let's go up there on the street. Always like taking like different routes, you know? As they get, uh, get around, keep it interesting. So, um, yeah, so that's the whole point, you know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like um, most people, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you end up believing the lie that society feeds to you in which, you know, you have to, you know, do a certain thing, live a certain way, and everything's gonna be fine, hunky-dory, and 
going to work out. And then you get to a certain age and you realize, oh no, they lied to me. Now what? And so there is like, you know, <clears throat> the now what is up to you. You know what I mean? Are you going to, you know, just like you said, are you going to go out there and play some golf? Or are you going to go out there and uh, do something? And the thing is, it's not about the money, man. You know, again, now I'm speaking to people that have all many figures behind their bank account or whatever. You know, whether it's a few figures or uh, many, many, many figures, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. The point is, is that it gets to, you know, for some people, they do want to retire, play golf all day, and they earned it. They work for it. All right. Um, you're, you're looking at an example right now. I'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, because I'm living my dream. I'm living, you know, I'm loving my life. Um, but anyways, at the end of the day, what I'm saying is that there's a lot of people out there. Um that they still they, they want like a that second breath in life you know what i mean where like like me i got that second breath in life and now you know what i mean like okay so for the longest time i thought i was stuck you know being a chef i thought i was stuck living that life i thought i was stuck forever and ever and ever living a life that i didn't want to live and um i had no idea that i can make the change and the reality is is that i just you know not only did it i didn't have the tools but i just didn't have the want and the desire um in order to do so and well I finally did and bam the rest is history so it's kind of like the same old thing it's a very similar thing with you guys in the sense that you know it doesn't matter what age you're looking at this at you know especially if you're older the reality is is that you still have a long ways to go you got a long ways to go <laughs> sir ma'am um and so you can now all of a sudden oh look they're making some food back there oh shit i gotta go check that out anyways uh, so anyways, yeah, 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 no, um, that's what's cool about Mexico, about Mexico, they just have like, you know, food, you know, like that's the guy's house, so yeah, I saw, I heard the music as I was coming by, and I was just thinking, oh, it's like a party, I smoked some food, but then I looked back, you know, I heard something, I heard some, some of my food sounds, and, uh, and I was like, huh, whatever, anyways, maybe I'll pick some up for later for dinner, alright, so back to, uh, what I was saying, um, the end of the day guys i mean uh, it's not it's not too late as a matter of fact if you're young and you are you know hustling doing following your dream doing all these things you're gonna be making a lot of mistakes it's gonna be a lot of failure and it's gonna be you know very difficult to get to where you're gonna get to initially because of a lot of uh, things that you lack as a uh as an older more experienced um more um you know acknowledged person and now when you have the advantage of again starting out at 30 or 40 years old or 50 or whatever you know you have so much more of an advantage and so many things so you might not have the crazy energy of the young kid but you got all this other shit that's worth 10 times more than the energy you can outsource the energy right i mean come on so you know and it's just things like that so it's all about putting it into perspective and at the end of the day you know whatever you were doing i always look back <clears throat> At the years that I, I spent as a chef, as a cook, you know, eating shit, working hard, putting in all those hours, you know, learning so much about humans, about myself, about, you know, everything, hard work, you know, ethics, you know, just ah, so many things. And I thought that that was all for not. It wasn't really something that was going to serve me well or, or anything. And then I realized later on it's serving me my god so much i mean right now if it wasn't for that i wouldn't be doing what i'm doing now which is making these videos um that everyone is benefiting from you know what i mean mostly you guys you know honestly you know but again i do this because it feeds my need to you know be heard it feeds my need <clears throat> to want to help people um and and so on and so forth i mean i keep making these over and over again you guys know I mean, how, how much money can I possibly make of this crap? I don't, but I, I the, 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 you know, it's not about that. It's about like how I feel. I feel so awesome, so great, so wonderful, so accomplished, so whatever. And I know that at the end of the day, this is going to serve my greater purpose of getting to where I want to get to and do the things I want to do and, and, you know, and all that stuff, you know, and this is just like practice right now. Um, this is uh i'm putting in the work i'm putting in the practice i'm putting in the you know um the experience the everything adding on top of everything else i'm doing so you know just like he was saying there you could be selling flowers you know i could just you know be making videos it doesn't you're doing whatever but <clears throat> you're doing what you love and so you wake up in the morning with a purpose something to do something you want to do something you feel 
that others want. You know what I mean? It's just this whole thing that it's very rewarding. Where maybe in the past you lived a, a, a job, you know, you had a job or a career that wasn't rewarding and all these other things. So um, I think I'm going to go this way. I forgot, where's the store I got to go to? I think it's over. Yeah, this way. <laughs> So, but anyways, guys, I mean, so, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, uh, it's really up to you. Like, you know, right now, um, this is, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm actually going to play a Gary Vee episode at the end of this as well. But the reality is, is that, you know, all these videos that I've made, like I've actually counted the videos that I've made and it's over a thousand between all of my channels, over a thousand videos, most of them with very little views you know, a hundred views or less all over the place. And it's not, and, and, and again, it's not about that. Now I'm making videos that get more views, but this video in particular, I mean, this video in particular is probably gonna get like 300 views tops, tops. You know, um, I got other places where I get tons of views and all this other stuff. And so I don't worry about a video like this making only a hundred views or a few views um, because I've already seen and know the impact that I'm making and I understand that it's not even about the views, you know what I mean? Like at first I only wanted to be heard by one or two people, um, whoever, anybody, and now, you know, I have thousands of people that listen to me. And like I've said many, many times before, I help people out in, in every capacity possible, but the one constant that everybody tells me is that I help them with some sort of motivation, that kick in the ass, that final little push that they needed to get over that hump. And so that makes me feel awesome because I mean, geez, you know, like I'm good at something, right? So, you know, focus on what you're good at. And so I'm good at talking. I'm good at helping people realize their true potential. And I'm, how, I'm good at, you know, certain things that you guys already know. You guys know probably better than I do. I'm good at sweating. Bruh. <laughs> and all this other stuff and like I just say it many times you know in fact like my new friend to the show I think we're gonna be adding this guy on a just regular basis do it. you know my mr. Shia LaBeouf says Don't let your dreams be yeah, dreams. let him uh... yesterday you said tomorrow so just do it make <laughs> your dreams come true just I mean do it I don't know how much more clearer you need it to be you know what I'm saying I mean this guy he's telling you like it is and you, you already know this. So, you know, with that being said, we're already here. I am cooking under the sun, Jesus. All right, so, whew, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, put it to Gary V now. And before I do though, I'm gonna, you know, say the obligatory, get the hell out of here saying. So guys, you already know what to do. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome and please check out Gary V um, and check out you know whatever do whatever you got to do in order to get over that hump to do what you got to do so thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one all right Gary it's your turn <laughs> so at 30 I started Wine Library TV YouTube blows up at 31 I'm on Conan O'Brien Ellen there's articles being written about me now they're writing that the business grew from three to sixty million dollars in sales I'm becoming this guy I got so many goddamn emails from friends in high school during that period when I was showing up in all these magazines and TV shows and every single one of them was like hey Gary you remember me from high school oh my god you're so lucky I wrote back every single one of them and said let me just clarify one thing. I'm not lucky. I worked. I worked every goddamn weekend and every holiday since I was 14 years old. So you can keep that luck shit in your pocket. Every day, every day that I live my life, I get five to 27 emails from people that are telling me that they sh are quitting or they should quit or, or are really coming to me as a last resort to uh, convince them not to quit, I think, a lot of times, or, or, or maybe give them confirmation that they should quit. Uh, you know, hey Gary, uh, this is Sally. I've been doing my blog now for nine months and I'm not getting the results that I like to see or that I was promised or that you and you endo, uh, should I give up? Like, you know, should I, is my, is my content not good enough? Am I, is my voice not good enough? And, and I think about it, Every time, every time I see these emails, every time people ask me at conferences, I think about it. I think about how sad I am 
that I wasn't documenting my life or putting out content or doing the Ask Gary V show during those five and a half years of Wine Library TV. The, especially those 18 months when nobody was watching. You know, the story that's never told is the story that I was building Wine Library to a huge company long before Wine Library TV and that the first month that I did Wine Library TV was the first time that Wine Library had not grown 30% over the prior year's revenue. So not only did I have the patience to let it play itself out and win, it was a scenario where I was actually losing money by being patient. Many of the people that are gonna watch this video are not achieving what they want and are lacking the patience and think everything happens overnight and that is coming at the cost of an unhappy life or no loss financially, just loss in time. Just coming at the expense of Angry Birds or House of Cards marathons or the bowling team or hanging out with friends and having a beer or reading a magazine or whatever the hell gets you off and excited as a hobby. It's coming at that expense. It's not coming at the expense of actual money or something or pain uh, or you know, it's coming at the expense of a luxury. And so to me, the, the, the insanity, really, and that's what I'm gonna, um, you know, the, the disproportional misunderstanding that there's not a person that you can name, not one. There is zero people that you can name that had it happen overnight. Even the nine-year-old Stevie Wonder and six-year-old Michael Jackson, there were years of work put in prior by their parents, by their uncles, even with the greatest talents, even with LeBron. He seemed like so young when he hit the scene. Guess what? He wasn't. He'd already been playing basketball for 15 goddamn years. <laughs> even though you all say to me like, wow, you, you did it. I didn't do it. I did it when I was 14 years old and 15 years old and 16 years old and 17 years old and 18 years old and 19 years old and 20 years old and 21 years old and 22 years old, which were all the years that every single weekend while my friends went to the Jersey Shore and hooked up with girls, while my friends went fishing, while my friends hung out and threw around the football and lived the leisure life every weekend, every, every single weekend. Let me just say it one more time, every weekend, Every day, from the day I got out of school to the day I went back into school, every vacation day, all of them, not a good amount of them, every day from 7 a.m. to back then 8 p.m., every day I was learning the wine business. I was honing my craft to be a good salesman. I was figuring out how to be an operator. I watched how my dad interacted with his employees, what I liked about it, what I didn't. I watched my cousin Bobby interact with the employees. I took what I liked from it, what I didn't. I was 30 years old before any of you ever saw me. Go show me the videos on YouTube right now that have me under 30. They don't exist. I was putting in the work for half my life at from 15 to 30 where I built an actual business. I put in actual work. And so if you wanna tell me that every goddamn moment of my life between 15 and 30 is an overnight success, then knock yourself out but that is complete bullshit and every one of you know it. And so when you email me that you've started this thing, that you have the audacity to want it to be the rest of your life, the audacity, really the, the entitlement that you think that you should be able to do something that you love so much for the rest of your life, that makes you enough money to be able to do it for the rest of your life, that you're giving up after four months that you're giving up after two years. As a matter of fact, every single person watching this video should be trying for that moment for the rest of their life, period. You might hit pay dirt at 80 and cool, then you can really do exactly what you love from 80 to 100. My friends, it is a gift. It is a gift to wake up in the morning and be able to do what you want for the rest of your life. The way you do that is by becoming a quote unquote overnight success. You know, the excuse that everybody uses to deploy against somebody who's actually put in work for the last decade and got themselves into a position where they can do something pretty rad that we all think is cool and we all wish we could do. You know, that thing, the thing that you say to yourself to make yourself feel better about when you're laying in bed and playing a goddamn game on your phone instead of putting in the work to achieve what you want. Nothing in life is free. 
Nothing happens overnight. It all takes tons and tons of work and tons and tons of talent and tons and tons of serendipity. But my friends, luck, serendipity, there's a forced culture within that. (laughs) You know, you don't just sit in your room hoping and then something lucky happens. Nobody just knocks on your house's door and says, congratulations, you've been awarded this. Luck comes from being in the right spot. I've been really lucky because I fucking bleed out of my eyes every day of my life and work my face off. You get really lucky when you have that 11.30 p.m. meeting (laughs) where the lucky thing happened. Pretty cool, since all you were fucking sleeping, I was pretty lucky, weird, that I scheduled that meeting because I did a ton of things for 30 years that allowed me to even have that meeting in the first place, that gave me the leverage to have that lucky thing to happen. There's no overnight successes, period. They don't exist, show me. Leave a comment on YouTube, leave the name, explain to me, tell me, show me, let me know. Show me the overnight success because I'll show you you justifying in your brain something that is just not true, period.